Hello, I'm meteorologist Bruce Jones with Midland Radio Corporation in Kansas City, Missouri. I've got a little tutorial on partial county alerting. And this is something new with NOAA weather radio, especially the SAME radios. Partial county alerting basically allows a county emergency manager to partition their county into smaller parts. And by partitioning the county into smaller parts, your weather radio will go off less often. And when it does go off, that message is more likely to pertain to your exact location. Now, this tutorial is only concerning weather radios with specific area messaging coding. And our two models are the WR120 and the WR400. I'll have separate tutorials on how to program these. This tutorial is to tell you how to go about finding out whether or not your county has been partitioned. So partial county alerting basically means instead of alerts for the entire county, you're just going to get an alert for your area of the county. Suppose this green box is your county, it's 20 miles by 20 miles, and you live up here where the star is, and they issue a tornado warning for way down in the corner of your county. Now, that tornado is not coming toward you, but as it stands right now, your weather radio is going to go off. Under partial county alerting, you could tell your weather radio, I only live in a certain section of this county and I only want to uh, hear an alert when that tornado warning affects my section of the county. Now here's a map of Clark County, Nevada. This is Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's a big county. And the people in Las Vegas don't want to be bothered by a uh, flash flood warning for way out in the county, way out in the sticks. So on a partial county alerting mode, you take your SAME code, which basically identifies the state and the county that you're in. The first digit of these codes has always been a zero, which means warn me for everything in my county. But you don't have to have it that way. Some counties can be partitioned and you can place a different digit in that first position. And now you've told your weather radio, I only want to be alerted for a certain section of this county. Now here's the rub. Has my county been partitioned? And that's why I'm doing this video for you right now. Here's how to find out whether your county has been partitioned. If it has, you can adjust your radio. If it hasn't, your radio is fine just the way it is. So step one, go to weather.gov, the site we love. This is the official National Weather Service website. It's weather.gov, G-O-V. Up at the top, click on information. And when you click that, a box will come down and inside that box, you click on NOAA Weather Radio. So it's two clicks so far, weather.gov, and then you're gonna click on Information and NOAA Weather Radio. Then the NOAA Weather Radio page comes up and you click on Coverage. So right over here where it says Coverage, you're gonna click right there, and that'll open up a sub-menu and you click on County Listing. County Listing is what you want. Now it brings up all of the states and you can click on your state, and now it's gonna bring you into all the counties in your state and tell you what's going on. So here we are, the state of Nevada, and uh, we're gonna pick out Clark County here. And once I've chosen Clark County, it shows me all of these things. Now, here we go. Clark County has been partitioned now. It has been subdivided. If you want to hear the alerts for all of the county, you leave that first digit as a zero. If you live in the southern sections, you change that first digit to an eight. And notice there are several different NOAA transmitters that serve this county because it's a huge county. So if you live in the southern sections of Clark County, Nevada, and you want to set that first digit to an eight, uh, you may get a better signal from the Kingman transmitter, or maybe you get a better signal, signal from Bullhead City, or there's another one down here, the Parump transmitter. So once you set the code that says, hey, I'm only in a certain section of this county, make sure that you're also tuned into the transmitter that gives you the best signal. Again, all of this comes from weather.gov, the main page at National Weather Service. You click on information. Then when this menu comes down, you click on NOAA Weather Radio, and that's gonna take you into the submenu because the most important thing is you need to find out whether your county has been partitioned or not. If it has, watch our tutorials and I'll tell you how to program your WR120 and your WR400. If your county has not yet been partitioned, don't worry about it. Everything is fine the way yours is. So again, partial county alerting is the adjustment of the first digit of the SAME code. And if you'll follow along with the tutorials for the WR120 or the WR400, I will teach you how to set that first digit if your county has been partitioned. 
I'm meteorologist Bruce Jones with Midland Radio Corporation in Kansas City, Missouri. Thanks for watching and thanks for helping us build a weather-ready nation.